Hi everyone and welcome to our third tutorial in our summer programme. Today we're going to be making our little sailboat picture frame. So we're going to be using all of our basic shapes today and doing some nice colour mixing as well. As we have said in the first tutorials, the best thing to do is watch from start to finish so you can see what the different steps are and then take your time going through it, pausing and rewinding when you need to. So we're just going to flip the camera around now so that we can get started. Okay, so the components that we're going to need today are going to be our little picture frame. You're also going to need your Pinocchio tool and the clay that you'll need will be, we're going to use a full bag of the white clay. You'll also need a small amount of red, some blue, not much um, blue, and a tiny little piece of black. And if you want to grab yourself some kind of plastic container to keep our clay nice and soft while we're working, that would be great as well. So for the white, we're going to take all the white clay out of this bag. So just a little tip when you're taking your clay out, if some gets stuck in there, you can actually turn the bag inside out and use the other piece of clay to just dab it off. Get it all out of there. Set that to the side. And we're going to use, we're going to just give this a quick stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. I'm going to roll it into a rough ball and then we're going to just quickly make it into a sausage shape. Okay. And we just want to make a little mark now with our Pinocchio. We're going to cut this into quarters. So we're going to start just by making a little mark in the middle and then go like this. Another mark here and here. So we've got one, two, three, four pieces. So I'm just going to cut off a quarter of that and I'm going to set that to the side. So we'll just move this out of the way. I'm going to set that underneath and this is the clay that we're going to be using to cover our frame. So we're going to do some colour mixing. I'm going to mix a light blue colour to make the clay for here. So. So I'm going to take probably about just a piece about this size. So it's it's probably a couple of Maltesers worth. And we're just going to stretch and fold. And again, remember, if you start with a small amount, you can always add more if you think it needs to be darker. So we're stretching and folding stretching and folding and remember the more you stretch this the softer it's going to become okay so i think that's a pretty good color i might yeah that's i'm happy with that if you wanted to make it a little bit darker you could just add some more blue okay so if it gets a little bit sticky because your hands are warm, just scrunch it up like this and dab it off. Okay. So to cover the picture frame, what we're going to do, again, we're going to make four equal pieces. So you can either roll a ball and make a pie or you can make a sausage. doesn't really matter. I'm going to use the the pie or the pizza technique this time. I'm just going to press it flat. I'm going to poke a hole in the middle and then I'm going to cut the press down like this. So I've got quarters. Oops. I still have warm hands today. Okay. 
And we're going to roll each one of these up into a nice smooth ball. So just between your hands, you can just press quite hard, get it nice and smooth. And if we've been accurate with our cutting, these should all be pretty much the same size. Okay, so I've got one that's maybe a little bit on the small side. I'm just gonna take a little bit off this one and even them up. Okay, so from here, we're gonna make some sausages. So we're gonna make four sausages. We're gonna make um, one here, one here, one that will fit in the middle. And we're gonna be just pressing these on. So we'll start by making one for here. So I'm just gonna use my hand. I'm using this part of my hand, not the fingers, because it would be all bumpy if I use my fingers. So I'm just using the heel of my hand and I'm rolling out until I get just a little bit shorter than the, the actual frame. And then I'm just gonna use this part of my hand to gently flatten that on. So I'm just gonna gently flatten like this. Okay. If you want, you can use your fingers to press it. And I'm going to do the next one. So again, I'm measuring just a little bit shorter than this because when we squash it, remember it's going to, going to go a little bit further. I'm just going to press that on like so. And then we're going to do the bits in the middle. So we're rolling. Where's the and any little imperfections, like I've got a little mark from my nail there, so you can just push over and that'll iron out any of those little, little creases. Like, so, so this is a nice technique to use when you're covering things like this. Okay, so now we have our lovely, um, little frame all covered with the, the clay. So we're gonna move on now to make our sailboat. So we're gonna take some of the dark blue and the first part of our boat that we're gonna make is this little base. So this is a little semicircle. So I'm gonna take a piece of clay. So Malteser size or a little bit bigger is fine for this one. Give it a quick stretch. I'm gonna roll it up into a nice round smooth ball. We're gonna use Pinocchio to flatten it. So when you're flattening with Pinocchio, you'll feel that one side is bumpy and one side is smooth. So we're always using the smooth side for flattening. I'm gonna push down like this. Then we're gonna use the straight part of Pinocchio's hat and we're gonna just push that down. So it's just pushing, we're not sawing, we're just pushing. And then we wanna get this off. So the easiest way, it might have stuck to the, the table, but if you just use your finger to flip like this, it'll come off nicely. And then you can just even up um, like that. So you've got the base of your little sailboat. Then take a little pinch of the blue that's left over, roll it into a little ball, and we're gonna make a long, thin sausage. So this is going to be for the, the mast of our boat. So what I'm, I'm actually gonna press this straight on. So the clay will stick, you don't need any glue or anything. So you're just gonna put the base in, gently press it like this, then, Got our nice long thin mast and I'm gonna put that just on like so. I'm gonna make a little ball on the top. And then we just need to we need to make some sails. 
So the sails that I've used, and you can you can really make this any colour. Um, I've just chosen the, the nautical colours of red and blue. Um, so I'm going to make one half of my sail red and the other one I'm going to make um, the light blue colour that we've we've used for this. I'm actually, I've got a spare bit here that I'm just going to chop off. And that'll be more than enough in here. Okay, so for the sail, we're going to roll a ball first. And then we need to make a long droplet. So you're going to roll, um, you're going to roll with your nice flat hand, the edge of it on the table. You're going to push it down towards the table, and we're going to roll back and forward until we get a nice long droplet. And with this, you're just going to push down again with the flat side of Pinocchio, and we're going to just cut the bottom. Off. So just pressing down like this. And then you can use Pinocchio to neaten up the edges like so. Flip off. And remember guys, if it doesn't work out first time, you just roll it up and have another go. Just going to take that really little pointy bit off, tidy it up a little bit with my hands. And I'm going to bend it around just a little like this. I'm going to pop it in here and then we're gonna gonna get a red one next so this is gonna be gonna make this one a little bit longer so a ball and to make a long drop if you want to make a short drop your hand is more upright but the, the closer your hand is to the table the flatter your hand is the longer your raindrop is going to be so back and forward Gonna press it down gently using Pinocchio. Gonna chop off the end to flatten, and then gonna bend that round a little bit. Gonna pop it on here, starting at the top, and just bringing this one down. Okay, and then I'm gonna make the little portholes in the boat. So gonna just take a little pinch of red, and I'm gonna divide this into three pieces. So these are tiny. Remember when we make things flat, they're going to get bigger. So I'm making three little, three little balls like this. And I'm going to start with the one in the middle. I'm just going to press it straight on. So push, push, and push. Okay. And then I'm going to get some white and pop it in the middle. So again, these are going to be really small, tiny little pinches. And you can gauge it. One, two, and three. And I'm just setting this on and push, and push, and push, like so. Okay, so that's our sailboat complete. The final thing that we need to do we're going to neaten it up, or we can put a little anchor on. I'll show you that at the end. Um, but we're going to make this beading around the edge. So this is a lovely technique um, just to tidy up things if you're if you're making. So you can see on the back that that's nice and just fill in the, the little missing parts. And then the next thing that I'm going to be showing you how to make is just a little anchor to put in the corner if you want. Um, I mean, you could get creative and add really whatever you want to this. Okay, so there we go. That's our beading all complete. So it's all nice and nice and neat. So to make a little anchor, I'm just going to take a little pinch. We don't need much for this at all. I'm taking a little pinch of white and a tiny little speck of my black clay. And I'm going to make some grey. So I'm just stretching and folding. So we're just going to be making little sausage shapes to make our anchor. So we're going to start off by making one, just a little 
little thin sausage. We're going to make a smaller piece to go on top so it's kind of like the letter T. Okay, so if you have a little lip there, you can see it's like a little T shape. I'm actually going to just put that straight on there, the corner, like this. And then we just want to make the hook part that goes around in the, the anchor. So you'll see from mine, it's kind of like a double raindrop. So it's like a little sausage with a point on each end. So take another piece, we make a ball, then a sausage, and then just with your finger, you gently roll on the edge of it. On each side, you get a little point, and then you're just gonna hook, hook that up, it's like a little smile, a little smiley face. And then you're going to put that on the end. And that is our sailboat picture complete.